This is a K.R. Wilson combination machine for the Model A. And we're, we put together a short video here to kind of give you some extra insight into this machine. Watch it work. It is a functional K.R. Wilson machine. It's got a motor, pulleys, belts, gear head, and the drive head works. Now, obviously, the motor isn't original, but it's a 0.85 horsepower motor, plenty of power to, to run this. And this is in conjunction with all the other parts that we have shown you in other pictures. If you haven't seen the parts, please contact us because we've got practically a complete set to make this thing uh, actually machine model A blocks. Now, let me turn it over to the uh, K.R. Wilson expert here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this, Steve. Okay, it's got the, uh, the model A bed plate, and as you can see right here. Okay. And what's that, the drive bar? Uh, this is the lead screw. Lead screw. And the the uh, threads are perfect on it. They are absolutely okay. stunning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this does work. I have bored a, uh, a cracked block for a practice effort at one time. Here's the gear head. We've studied this. Uh, you will also get a gallon of... Syn I think it's synthetic, isn't it? Yeah, we have changed. Gear lube. Yes, we've changed the gear lube in this, and we've resealed it. That doesn't mean it is 100% leak-free, but it does fairly well. It's you, know, you got to remember this thing is 80 some years old. There's no cracks, no bro. It's not broken. It's never been outside in the rain. I mean, there's no rust. Now here's where the lead lead screw goes through, and you can see this is the the binder that brings. The uh, the bronze piece down on the lead screw. Mm -hmm. This has obviously been broken at one time in its life, but it's been very well repaired. Um, you put this on, you can see it operate, and it'll pull these guys right in. Boom! And the lead screw would be in there, and you mm -hmm. carefully bring it around. And there it is. And here it is. Okay. So. That also comes with it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it had these little uh, wing nuts or wing bolts originally, but somebody probably put those in at one time to, to just hold it and make sure it didn't fall off again. That makes sense. Um, Obviously, the pulley is not original. You, and the pulley is not original. This is a browning pulley, and it's got a, uh, uh, a proper tapered uh, bushing on it. This is the original crown pulley that came with the machine when we bought this. It did not have an engine or a motor with it. And um, we obtained this browning pulley and we sized the, uh, the pulley on the motor so that you'll get a lead screw feed very close to what the original was. So the, we'll give you the original crown pulley and of course not having the original motor, we don't have the crown pulley that went on the motor. Mm. So this is a surge motor by Babson and Company. It's got, uh, it's an old motor. It's a capacitor start, 0.85 horsepower. You can see the whole frame is cast iron. Oh yeah. So this is a beautiful motor. And boy, it, it honks. So you want to turn it on and let them uh, yeah, put let's... this crown pulley over here. So. You get this guy to. Now we've got a nice little switch here. Let's just take a look at that. Yeah, we've uh, we've oh, wired the switch in, and it's got uh, it's got the original cords that came with the motor. They function very well. It's very quiet, actually. You ready? Yeah. Here it goes. There she goes. Wow, that thing flies now. See the gear head turning. Now when the lead screws in here, it starts feeding very slowly. And when you put the bed plate to the side, you'll have the block in this direction. And you'll be boring like this. Now you turn the bed plate like this when you want to line bore ah. the bed. Gotcha. Okay. We don't have any guards to the motors. Uh, 
So I'm sure it's not OSHA approved. But, uh, <laughs> that wouldn't be our problem because that's the way they made this back then. Now the bed plate is made so you can turn it sideways. You've got tapered. These came with the machine. These are tapered pins. Okay, this is uh, a third one. And we had started marking where these pins would go when you set it up for, for various operations that you're doing. And here's the adjustment piece, mm -hmm. a little knurled deal wow. that will set the block mm -hmm. in the proper location for line boring on this gotcha. thing. So it looks and like... it'll also help you set it when you've got this thing turned 90 degrees. So it looks like it's pretty functional and pretty complete for the whole system here. And with all the other parts that we've got that you see in the other photographs. This is a very complete K.R. Wilson machine. Uh, I've never had the quick release bolts or parts like that. But those are things that are just handy to have. Okay, now I was going to talk a little bit about the frame and the bed here. Okay. There's no damage or abuse, no rust, no cracks. It doesn't look like it. I, mean, I don't think it's ever been left out in the rain. I mean, it's it's never been outside. We've stored it here probably 20 years. It's never been. Now, one thing we need to talk about here, as you would expect for a big cast iron piece like this, this thing weighs a lot. So as far as shipping goes, we can get it out the door but you will have to arrange a shipper. This will run freight. You will also have to, and we will we will try to locate one, but we will need, you will need somebody to actually crate this thing, package it. We just don't have the resources to do that. We can get it out the door for someone to pick it up. That's no problem. But here is the full machine, and if you have any questions, uh, please contact us through the auction. We'd be more than happy to provide any other information, videos, images, anything uh, that you want that we have not provided. Anything else, Steve, that we need to talk about? Well, I was just going to say, when, when I bought this machine, I believe it came in, it was kind of a charcoal black color. And we just, we <laughs> painted it, this is probably a 30-year-old paint job, Battleship Gray, because that's the color we had in our uh, engineering lab at that time. So... We just wanted to make sure it would be totally protected. So what you see here, and the still pictures of all the extra parts that we've got. I don't want to say extra parts, but all the parts well, that go to it. Yeah, um, we're not going to go through all those parts right now, but we've got, we'll list them in the auction. That's right. We, we were never able to find a mic head to mic the boring bar, so we made our own. You can see it sitting right down here. Yeah. And it's got a mic head on it. And you put the boring head into here, and you can set the cutter mm -hmm. right here. Okay. So actually, it's it's a lot more stout than the, the standard Original. KR Wilson. Yeah. It comes with extra lube and some parts. But these parts right. will be identified and numbered. There you go. Lube plate. These parts will be identified and numbered in a separate photograph. So if you have any questions... Please contact us. We'd be more than happy to provide information to you. Thanks. Have a great day.